Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today we are going to present you our data mining project which is using the Hypothetic dataset. Alright, now I'm, let me introduce you to our group members which is I, Nurul Izzat Liana and then Siti Auni, Siti Mariam and also Putri Nurul Shazwani. Hypothyroid is a type of chronic disease that could also affect other diseases in the body. Thyroid is a butterfly-shaped gland which is located at the bottom of the throat responsible for producing two active thyroid hormones, T4 and T3, that affect some functions of the body. These functions include stabilizing body temperature, blood pressure and regulating the heart rate. People suffering from thyroid gland tend to fall sick due to under or over productions of hormones from this gland. Although thyroid gland problems is not fatal to human, it may decrease the quality of life for a person. Thyroid gland problems is notoriously hard to detect since it has a lot of symptoms that overlap with other diseases. We are using the dataset from the UCI dataset. Based on the article that we found, we managed to understand how hypothyroid was diagnosed. We decided to use the classification model. First, we will start by understanding our data and preparing it by going to the pre-processor tab. We will now show you the numeric attributes of this data set. The mean, minimum, maximums and standard deviation is currently displayed under the selected attributes tab. For the nominal attributes, there are usually two values which is true or false, except for the class and sex attributes. Nominal values will display the count of each values. Now, we will show the method that we use to remove missing values. By using filter replace missing values, the values will be replaced by the main values of the data set. For noisy data, we plan to discretize the data. Four attributes are removed from the dataset because they are considered as irrelevant by our ranker. To detect outlier and extreme values in our dataset, we use interquartile range filter. From the result, we decide to remove it using remove with values filter. Then, it is saved as file clean.arff file. This is our sample from the new clean dataset. For our project, we choose filter mean max normalization because the value of those attributes is not in proper range and it is hard to recognize the distribution of the data. So, this is how our dataset looks like after being normalized.
and this is our current accuracy. Before normalization, the accuracy was 97.3539 and now it is 99.6801. We decided to discretize the dataset into three bins to deal with noisy data and change all the numeric to nominal attributes. After applying the discretized filter, we save this dataset into CSV format. Then we edit the data inside Excel into low, normal and high. Then we save it and open it back in Weka. Next, we change the attribute and tumor attribute from nominal to binary using nominal to binary filter because we want to construct a new attribute in our dataset called symptoms. Then we use add expression filter to calculate the total of positive attribute for goiter and tumor. Lastly, we save the file as file normalize.arf. Before we begin our classification evaluation, all attributes has to be in nominal. So we use filter numeric to nominal filter for attribute goiter, tumor and symptoms. This is our accuracy before starting the classification model.
This is the results we have on accuracy. For cross validation, 10 volts, we have 97.3539. For cross validation, 20 volts, we have 97.3248. For percentage split 70, we have 97.1899. For percentage split 90, we have 96.8023. The best test option to train the data would be the 10-fold cross-validation, which is 97.3539. This is our tree visualization for our J48 classifier. For this part, we reduce our data by removing all the irrelevant attributes, leaving only 9 important attributes. Then we use the sample filter and change the sample size to 70%. This file is saved as file reduce.arff. This is our new dataset after the attributes are removed. Those irrelevant attributes are removed based on findings that we found on research papers. We also create another set of reduced dataset by removing unnecessary attribute based on full training set ranker. This file is saved as file reduce ranker.arff which contains 17 attributes. This is our new dataset after the attributes are removed. This is the comparison result between full features and reduced features. The accuracy for cross-validation tenfold for the full features would be 97.3539, while the accuracy for the reduced features would be 97.1334. This is the comparison result between full features and reduced features for cross-validation 20-fold. The accuracy for the full features would be 97.3248 while the accuracy for the reduced features would be 97.2165. This is the comparison results between full features and reduced features for percentage split 70%. The accuracy for the full features would be 97.1899 while the accuracy for the reduced features would be 96.5374. This is the comparison results between full features and reduced features for percentage split 90%. The accuracy for the full features would be 96.8023 while the accuracy for the reduced features would be 97.9253. As you can see, the dataset with the most accuracy would be the reduced dataset on 90% percentage split. 